Congratulations on the purchase of your new home. Just thought we would do this video um, with some useful information. Normally we would do a home demonstration in person, uh, but due to coronavirus we've been unable to. Here's a helpful hint on how to double lock your front door. All you would need to do is pull the handle all the way up and then you turn the knob all the way around and your front door is now double locked. When leaving your apartment to double lock the front door from the outside, you do the same again. So you pull the handle up like so and then you would just need to turn your key. Here is a guide on how to operate the internal door entry system uh, from downstairs. If any of your guests were to ring the buzzer, um, you can just press the button where it says main entrance door and you can see who's downstairs and you'll be able to speak to them at the same time to let them in. You just press the button with the, with the symbol with one door. And in the same again, once they're through the first main entrance door and they're in the inner lobby area, uh, they would need to then buzz you again the second time. You would just click on inner lobby. Again, you'll be able to see them, you'll be able to speak to them and you'd press the button with the one door and that will release the door for them. Now here we are in the kitchen. I'm going to show you where all of your um, Client's uh, spur switches are heads, and they are just inside where the fridge is. Uh, you can see you've got various switches here. From left to right, you've got your hob, uh, and then you've got the fridge, dishwasher, cooker hood, and the oven. Just over here is your boost switch, which controls the air ventilation system. Uh, we suggest you turn that on whilst you're cooking, um, but don't forget, unless the main switch is turned on in the utility cupboard, uh, it won't work. This is the induction hob. I just want to show you how to turn it on. Uh, there's a button here in the middle, if you just press down for a couple of seconds, and then the red LED lights will appear. Um, and just to uh, remind you that it is an induction hob, so you'll need your induction saucepans. We recommend that just before you use your oven um, to turn the temperature onto a high setting and let it burn off for at least 20 minutes. I'm just going to show you how to work your extractor fan on the Left hand side here you've got your light, just flick it over to the right here and then you've got three speed settings for the extractor fan, one, two and three. Just turn that on and then you pull down. Just to touch on your appliances with your induction hob, the electric oven, dishwasher and fridge freezer. All of the appliances come with a two year guarantee. Uh, the first year is with the manufacturer SMEG and the second year is with the Times. Um, but what's important is you do need to register the appliances to activate the guarantee and information on how to do that is within your handover pack. In both of the bedrooms and in the living room you've got some 5 amp lighting sockets which means that you can plug in um, lamps with a 5 amp socket, you may need to change the plug so that it's got the uh, 5 amp 3 pin. Um, there are two switches, there's one on the wall just here and then another one as you walk in by the entrance and the benefit to that is that you don't have to turn the lamps off individually, they can be centrally controlled. In the living room and both the bedrooms, you'll see that uh, some of the power sockets will come with USB charging points. Just out here is your media points uh, on all your Sky TV terminals. Um, 
and just above if you want to have your TV mounted, you can. Um, these two are both linked together, which means you're not going to have any trading cables. In each room, you'll have uh, an individual thermostat where you'll be able to control the temperature of the underfloor heating. Um, to increase or decrease the temperature, just pull the clip down. Um, you'll be able to see how warm the room is at the moment. It's 25 degrees, so to turn the temperature up, you'd press the red arrow, and to turn the temperature down, you'd press the blue arrow. Each apartment has a utility cupboard, and I'm just going to go through um, some pieces with you individually to explain what their functions are. Um, first of all, the hatch here on the ceiling. Above there is your uh, ventilation system. Uh, we do recommend that you keep it turned on just to allow um, circulation throughout the property. However, if you do want to turn it off, for example, if you're going on holiday, uh, there is a switch just up here where you can turn the ventilation system off. In the utility cupboard, you've got your ventilation exchange system. Uh, they're either mounted on the wall like with this one, or sometimes they are above the ceiling. In either case, you do need to take the filter strips off and clean them once a year. The main controls to your underfloor heating is just over here. So at the moment you can see it's turned on and then just above this switch you've got your main uh, central thermostat where you can increase or decrease the main temperature um, and create zones uh, to have the underfloor heating on in particular rooms and there's also a timer function there as well. Um, but just to note you do have one of these in each room so you can control the temperature individually for each room. So this over here is the heat interface unit, otherwise known as a HIU. And the function for this is to control the underfloor heating and the hot water to the uh, bath and the shower areas. You've got your heat meter just over here. And this is what we call a guru. And essentially what this does is it allows you to monitor how much heat you're using per room. It also tells you how much credits is on the system, um, but we'll go through the payment details on handover with you. Just over here, um, we've got Hyperoptic Broadband. Um, this is all ready to go. All you need to do is contact Hyperoptic um, set up an account with them and you will you'll have instant internet connection with them. So you've got your fuse ball just over here. Um, all of your circuits are labelled. Um, should anything turn off, if there was a, a lighting was to turn off, then all you'd need to do is turn the breaker back on again. If you was ever to have a leak inside the property and you needed to turn the water off in an emergency, you have your main valve here. All you would need to do is turn the valve and that would then shut the water off. Um, there's two ways of opening the window. You can have the window tilted or you can open it fully. The way to tilt it is if you just turn the handle halfway and then pull, and then you can see here, that's as far as that will open. And then to open it fully, you would close the window and you would turn the key at the same time as turning the handle and then the window will open all the way up. We recommend that you test your smoke detector and heat detector in the hallway you've got your smoke alarm and the way to test it is there's a button where it says push and it says test just hold that in for a couple of seconds and then it will start bleeping um, and that way you know that it's working fine and the same with the kitchen the heat detector 
um, just push the button where it says test for a couple of seconds and it will start beeping and um, that will tell you that the, the battery is working. Coming down from the ceiling, behind the wall to the sockets, um, there are live wires, um, so just be very careful when hanging pictures and mirrors up uh, that you don't place them along that line. Just to bear in mind, there is no gas supply to any of the apartments. Um, there is, however, down in the basement, uh, gas fired cube boilers. You may see within the first 12 months some shrinkage and some cracking. Um, that's nothing to worry about, it's completely normal um, with a new build property. It's to do with the uh, materials that have moisture. Um, <clears throat> we also recommend that you don't decorate uh, any of the walls and ceilings for the first 12 months either, just to let the property dry out. On each of the communal landings, you'll have the communal riser cupboards. Uh, you'll be given a key to those to access them. Uh, in one of the riser cupboards you'll find your water meter, all of which are labelled with the flat number. Um, and in a separate cupboard, with the same key, you'll be able to access your electric meters too. The location of the cycle storage areas do differ from block to block, um, and we'll show you where they are on the day of handover. Just to let you know how to access the cycle storage area, you just hold your fob, press the sensor, and then that will open the door. The refuse stores are, again, they're located in different areas within the blocks. Um, with regards to rubbish, the recycling uh, will go into the mow bins and domestic waste into the black bins and to access the refuge stores, you just hold your fob up against the sensor. I hope you found this helpful. Um, just to remind you that if you do need any further information, it's all detailed on your spatial account, or you can contact our after-sales team as well.